Hey guys, I can't talk long today. I'm down in Becker, Minnesota on a last day of my family's um, final Christmas celebration, I guess you will. And um, got up at the hotel this morning, went get ready to go down and eat breakfast, all that kind of stuff, and just saw the most amazing sunrise. It was just this beautiful, you know, orange and golden tones, pink tones in the sky, and everything was a bit frosty and cold and then we've got a lot of this area down here is all these big farmlands and um, kind of rolling hills farm um, these big hardwood trees oaks and stuff like that and I was really hoping to be able to catch um, just an awesome sunrise and some photos but I'm not really familiar with the area so I didn't know where to go and drove around and got a few pictures but didn't want to go get myself lost before I had to get on the road and get home for, you know, a couple three hour drive, something like that. So, ended up just kind of finding my way around. I did find a couple photos I really liked and um, wanted to show you guys that. I'll probably try and insert those into the, um, the post here. But the one was right here, a little bit earlier behind me the sun was coming up on these trees right here and just kind of peeking around the edge and so I think I got something kind of cool there um, it's really a, a situation where it made me realize how much I want to come back down to this area at some point just with the sole express purpose of doing some photo you know work um, capturing something different because as you've seen from watching most of my videos when I'm back home we don't get you know these big skies and farmlands and rolling hills and everything else it's a lot of woods I mean there are some fields and things here and there but most of what we have is some pretty dense forest so it's always kind of neat to come down to these areas but the one thought I wanted to leave you guys with today and I apologize the videos jumping all over it's cold and I'm not really set up and equipped with my usual gear I'd be wearing when I'm out taking pictures all I have with me is my X100T and of course my video camera and um, no super warm clothes. I've got some long johns on and stuff, but it's zero or below zero. I'm not sure with the wind, but it's a bit chilly. But um, the one thought is that, you know, I was driving around trying to find something. I had an idea what I wanted. I was looking for some place where I could stop and pull off and find maybe one or two of these nice big oak trees um, out in a field by itself where I could kind of capture a nice silhouette with that kind of foggy almost pastel tones You know everything else there Just couldn't make it happen didn't know the area was kind of bumming about that And then you know it, it kind of just clicked with me again a little reminder for us all that You know I still was able to get out and enjoy this I did get a couple pictures, but sometimes it's not even about getting all the pictures you know it's it's more important sometimes to just get out and make sure you're enjoying the moment as well and if you're in a position where you can make a few good photos all the better but you know sometimes it's worth it just to be able to enjoy that really really beautiful sunrise or sunset or whatever it is that nature's gonna throw at you so never a bad thing there um, in regards to that and you know I, I kind of forget that a lot myself it's something that you know I don't always think about a lot of times you get so focused on the um, you know the act of making pictures and you want to capture that next great scene and you know definitely that's why I do photography is I love to capture you know the beauty of nature around us and and show my view of things but there are many times also where it is absolutely perfectly okay to just go out and enjoy a scene even if you don't end up with a single photo from that that works for you um, you know it's something I've been obviously as many people are a big fan of Thomas Heaton and his photo uh, vlog video series he has over on YouTube and a big fan of his uh, photo work as well and you know it's something he's kind of talked about recently because he's known for being very very selective when he's out you know trying to make an image for himself he may go on a trip and take six or eight pictures the whole time that really speak to him you know and there's something to be said for that you know it's it's really 
a sign of true discipline and a sign of knowing exactly what it is you're looking for to be able to do something like that with your photos because you know it, it's easy to be somewhere like I am right now and everything is new and everything is exciting and your camera is just you know shooting 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 everything looks cool but then you kind of stop yourself and realize that you know why am I taking this picture is it really something I like or is it just because it's new and different and you kind of you know have to stop yourself a little bit to stop and just take in a scene look at it figure out what it is you like about it what's making you want to point that camera at that scene and that's kind of what when I was you know shooting these trees here I didn't really have the right lens that I normally would have um, although the, the X100T was perfectly capable and um, but there was just something about the the big kind of gnarly you know twists and turns of these oaks the way they're leaning with no leaves on them especially they're just a really kind of I don't know just a hearty like cold but just really stoic looking tree and I don't know if you can see how like right now the Sun is kind of hitting just the edge of my face at times it was down lower so it was it was really just skipping across the the fields on a little bit of a hill and catching the sides of those trees and it was something that I just it, it drew my eye and I realized like yeah that's that's an image I want to take you know and, and we'll get it back on the computer and see what comes of it I think what I will do rather than share the final image and in process with you now because we've got the Wednesday skinny post coming up this week um, I'm going to go ahead and record myself editing that photo there and maybe one or two others that I took this morning real quick just to see if anything comes out that is of course with the caveat once I get them on the computer to make sure that they actually look like I think they did um, when I took them so with that I think I'm gonna wrap it up it's really really cold my ears are freezing and I got to get back to the hotel and pack up and we got to get on the road so you guys take care have a great afternoon and I will see you tomorrow <laughs>